What's up you guys, this is Devin from Central Effects Studios and we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the 7D Mark III and the things that I think the 7D Mark III needs in it. But let's first put that disclaimer out there guys, I am not bashing on any other company. I shot with Nikon, Panasonic, Sony, but I main with Canon cameras and I've been shooting with Canon cameras for 10 years. I main with the 7D, so now I've shot with the 7D Mark II. I'm not going to purchase the 7D Mark II because the 7D Mark II is just... Uh, it's just a bump up for me. I think the 7D is a really, really good camera. It's just not good in low light. It has some bad image quality if you do not know how to use it, but I learned and got around those flaws. So with that being said, let's get into the things that I think that the 7D Mark III needs when it comes out. Okay, let's start off with things that I think that I know that Canon will put into it, like a 24 megapixel sensor. The 24 megapixel sensor will get us around what the other crop frame sensors are, like the 80D and all the other Nikon cameras that have 24 megapixels. 24 megapixels has been a standard for all 1.5X crop cameras for a long time. Even Sony has cameras that are 24, 25 megapixels, you know, and up, you know, and on the smaller sensor side. So I think that Canon can really do a good job with this camera if they make it 24 megapixels because know that the more megapixels you have, the more image you have to process, the slower the camera becomes at the price point that they sell the 7D at. Now, you have to keep that in mind because the 7D is sold at a certain price. You got to keep the business aspect in mind that they can only do so much. But technology is growing. You never know what Canon can do. They always harbor some kind of technology that they have and they don't think that we're watching them. But we are watching them with their bigger sensor cameras and they do have some technology up there, especially with the 5DS and the 5DSR. It makes it very curious to see how much images they can put in a buffer with a 24 megapixel crop frame sensor if they can do so much with a full frame sensor. So with that being said, I think 24 megapixels is not too much to ask. Uh, they should have at least 12 frames a second. Now, with that being said, if you think about the other cameras that are 12 frames a second and up, like the 1DX, um, the 1DX Mark II came out with like at least 12 frames a second. I know that the smaller form Canon camera with the smaller sensor, which doesn't take as much memory to process, should be able to process at least 12 frames a second or more at the price point. So with that being said, I really think that the 7D Mark III can roll with at least 12 frames a second. So let's move on to the next thing that I think the 7D Mark III should happen. Let's bring back the dual processor. Um, I think, I think they have like a Digic 6 processor now uh, that the 7D uh, or the 6D Mark II came out with. Um, they need to make dual dual digit processors, uh, dual digit 6 processors for the 7D Mark III if they haven't, where it can actually process this amount of memory and give us a decent buffer rate without it conking out by the time we finish the burst rate you know, especially if we're in a football game or a basketball game lacrosse anything like that i've done all those kinds of sports my thing is having a camera that will perform up to its expectations and i think the 70 marks any 70 is 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 just one of the best cameras that Canon has ever made. Now the 70 Mark One, it was a little bit behind the times with its image quality, but as far as functionality, as far as focus points, and almost everything else it had with that camera, it was really really good. Especially with the 100% coverage viewfinder, it was first in its class and it had some of the most rugged specs you'd ever see. Especially with the little joystick, the 70 Mark One was just revolutionary in itself, along with the 5D Mark Two. <laughs> Those two came out around the same time, and they really speak volumes for Canon. But nowadays, Canon tends to give us a little bit, and we expect more of them. So with that being said, I really think 24 megapixels, at least 12 frames a second to compete with the A9. Having just some modern tech that you always have in your Canon cameras will do for the 7D Mark III. I mean, we don't really expect a lot out of the 7D Mark III because it, it really does a good job and a good showing with Canon cameras. Like... When the 7D Mark II came out and the 1DX was already out, the 7D Mark II really trounced on the 1DX. And everybody was like, wait, I'm paying six grand for the 1DX Mark I. And the 7D Mark II comes out with similar specs. The only thing is that it's a crop frame sensor with maybe two frames different on the frames per second rate. And it's like, you know, it really showed what Canon could do. Now, I'm not... I'm not phrasing everything because I really didn't like how Canon did that too. But I don't have a 1DX. I have a 7D. So I'm on the 7D side of things. But with that being said, I know that Canon has the technology to do exactly what I'm asking them to do. Um, shooting Canon for 10 years, you tend to make requests like this. 
because you really want to be able to invest in a camera brand that gives you exactly what you want because you vicariously work you pretty much work through the camera brand um, now most people don't use the cameras to their fullest extent but I do I use the camera to its fullest extent I'm in low light situations shooting sports in low light situations I'm shooting indoor uh, track indoor indoor this indoor that where there's fast motion fast this fast that fast this so with that being said not only do i need fast shutter speeds i need high isos you know because sometimes i can't even flash i'm doing theater performances but i'm not able to use the flash and they're still moving fast they got dancers on theater performances so i need everything that the 7d can give me because this is the small the, the cheap man's 1dx <laughs> so with that being said uh those things i think they can do now, one of the next things that I want, XQD card slot is something that uh, the 7D, I don't think, has ever had. And the XQD is supposed to be faster than CF. They don't make CF cards much anymore. They don't have them in local stores like Target, unless you go to a Target that still has it around. They don't have Radio Shack anymore. And Best Buy is the only you know real store that I know still sells them. But all in all, some of these like local stores don't just doesn't have cf cards anymore you might go to a cvs or walgreens that has a cf card but you really got to shop online for cf cards so that means that 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 tells me the cf cards are not being made anymore but sqd cards are a lot faster even though they cost more we need dual card slots too don't do us like you did the 60 mark ii <laughs> have dual card slots to the 7d because we're using those for weddings too and we want to back up our images just in case something fails or we need a reference or jpegs on one raw on the other whatever we need for is extraordinarily useful in its modern technology we need to have it please don't skimp out on the dual card slot touch screen touch screen uh you might not be able to make a, a flip out screen because you always want the 7d to be rugged i really want to flip out screen for the 7d it would be the you know just awesome if you could do that but if you can't try to make it touch screen because touch screen is too useful especially with the dual pixel autofocus and the dual pixel autofocus you put in the 7d mark ii and i really appreciate that but I really, really would like to see like the dual pixel autofocus with a touch screen that you can really touch instead of poking at the, the, the little jabbing at the joystick or doing everything that moves the camera and, and, and it doesn't really uh, help out. So uh, touch screen and an intuitive touch screen. Is it the 5D? Oh no, no, the 1DX Mark II has one that's not fully compatible with some things. So, you know, uh, a split, split the, uh, the, the camera up. So just like you did the uh, the was it the the 6DS or the T6S and the T6i and all those stuff, split the 70 up. You can have a 70x, you know, and and make that X a real X. Like like this should be the X factor of the Canon world. Like make this uh, 70 uh, a better in low light, but skim it down to maybe like 18 megapixels, like you have the 70 Mark One. But I want you like to boost up the frame rate to like. 20 like the a9 so we could compete with the a9 because the dslr hasn't been able to do 20 frames a second from my knowledge um unless it's doing like a photo mode or something like that where you can't really control what you're taking shoots of or, or pictures of so uh with that being said give us like a a camera that we can move instead of like a photo video mode we, we want like like we can move and do 20 frames a second without it being like a photo video mode so with that being said, make it like make it like 18 frames a second, but put like a dual digit six processor in there and make it do 20 frames a second because it's not processing that much memory, right? Not processing that much memory. It got 18 megapixels, but 18 megapixel stills with the new dynamic range that the processor allows, also with the 20 frames a second that the A9 allows. And bang, you're right back in the game. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> because the 7D is already a great camera. The megapixels is fine if you just doing mainly sports and stuff like that we can sacrifice some resolution just like we do for the 1dx all the time we sacrifice resolution for more speed so with that being said do it for the 70 make a 70x also a 70 mark 3 with the standard stats make a 70x with some game killer stats and we'd be awesome with that being said i'm done with citrix studios and i hope this stuff comes in the 70 mark 3